Hello everyone, this is my review for High Grade Gundam H1 Normal from Mobile Suit Gundam H series. First thing I have to say, I love the silhouette, the proportion, and the overall design of this kit. It has the resemblance of Granddaddy Gundam, and I love Granddaddy. It feels like a Granddaddy Gundam with more futuristic vibe. And also, we got a cool, unique backpack right there. See that spoiler? Awesome. And also, this kit is quite solid. I have to mention for this review that there are parts that were painted by gray. The back of its hands and those on the side of its mouth. For the stickers, we get a moderate amount of stickers included. And they don't look so bad. For front and back head cameras, for its eyes, that one on its chest, those big black details on both knees, and that camera scope on the rifle. For the quick size comparison, Gundam Converge Gantang, High Grade Grand Daddy Gundam Revive, and a Standard Master Grade Gundam RX-78 IV. For the accessories, we get a shield, a beam rifle, left open spread manipulator, and a set of beam savers with a pair of short and standard beam saver length. For the rifle, it got a moving front handle and can remove the front barrel to make this a handgun. Mm -hmm. And reattach the front barrel in the other way to make the front handle on the left side. To equip the rifle, just remove the armor on the back of the hand, then pop in the rifle handle, then put the armor back to the manipulator. This is what it looks like equipping the handgun and rifle on the kit and no issue of holding the weapon. For the shield, it got color separated by white and blue and a detailed gray section on the back instead of a hollow plastic design. This is one feature of the kit that I like. We got a rotating peg and to equip, just pop in the peg on the forearm and you can also equip the shield on the back of the arm by removing and equipping the forearm armor with peg hole on the other side. Sadly, we only got one extra open spread hand. For the beam sabers, it's not the usual circular connector that we have seen on HG kits. Instead, it's flat. To equip the beam sabers, just pop off the handles from the side skirt and attach the beam saber. Then just slide it in on the holding hands. Easy peasy. I also have to mention that there's something going on in the middle of its back skirt. And its use isn't indicated on the manual. Moving on to the articulation, its head can move all the way up and all the way down, side to side, arms can rotate all the way around, can move all the way up, shoulder armor moves independently, and there are also articulation on its shoulder peg, which is nice, upper arm rotation, double jointed elbow, a standard ball joint rotation, front torso movement, Side to side, waist rotation, double front skirt up and down movement, a standard ball joint rotation, back skirt up and down movement, upper leg rotation, legs can move forward all the way up, backward leg movement, legs can move this much from the side. Oh, double jointed knee. Feet are more up and down movement. Side to side. Up and down movement. Overall, this kit is awesome and I love it. It's easy and fun to build. Quite solid and with good articulation. Aesthetically impressive. Spoiler on Gundam. Awesome. I will definitely going to get a master grade for this kit. And that's it for my review. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. 
Be safe and happy building to everyone. Bye!